Surefire recipe techniques are proven and they will guarantee results in your kitchen. In front of me, I've got a beautiful venison backstrap or loin, and I'm gonna complement it with a Surefire Wild Game Spice Rub made up of some incredible spices. The smell in the kitchen right now is unbelievable. I've got black pepper, I've got allspice berries, I've got some beautiful star anise and coriander, and to that I'm gonna add some fennel, cayenne, I've got paprika, and a little bit of dark brown sugar. Now all of these together will make a powerful spice mixture that you can make easily at home yourself. The first thing that we have to do is toast the spices. So the whole spices I'm going to put into a preheated pan and just toast them until they're both fragrant and slightly browned. And while I'm doing that, I've got to clean up this venison loin by removing the silver skin. Let's get started. Toasting spices activates all of the natural oils and flavors. And have a look at these. The star anise and allspice berries just about to go in. The important thing is, as I toast, I really want to keep the pan moving. And as I begin to see the smoke rolling, continually turning it over so that it doesn't burn and toast to perfection. With the spices nicely toasted, I can just set them aside and let them cool slightly before I grind them. And now to the task of removing the silver skin from the venison loin. It's a simple procedure and all you have to do is just slide the knife just underneath the silver skin, pull up with a little bit of pressure and simply slice off that silver skin. With my butter melted and fragrant, I've added canola oil, which raises the smoke point. Now you can see I've got a nice coating inside the pan and look at this beautiful spice rub. I'm gonna gently lay this down inside the pan, sauteing it so that both sides are nice and golden brown. And then I'll pop it in the oven to finish it up. After about seven minutes in the oven, I can tell that this is ready to use the instant read probe thermometer to double check to make sure that the internal temperature has reached about 130 degrees. What that means is that I'll have a rare inside. You have that beautiful crust on the outside, but what's really important is to make sure to allow that to rest. It smells so good and I'm ready to dig into it, but the key is leave it alone. Let it rest uncovered for about 10 minutes. Now, going back to our beautiful spice mixture, what I've got is I've got an airtight container. You can do one of two things, either an airtight container or put it in a plastic bag, a zip bag, and you can store it in the freezer. Either way, this roast venison loin with our Surefire Wild Game Mix is incredible. Enjoy.